Hi, Pratik. So we all know that you have grown up in Jaipur. How that had it has impacted? You know, a lot of my closest friends still till today are from Jaipur from school. Uh, I guess, like, I guess one thing that uh, Jaipur contributed was that uh, when I started doing music, when I came back to India after college. and started doing this in delhi uh the indie scene was mostly i feel like composed of uh, people from delhi and bombay and bangalore like mostly from like metropolitan like bigger cities i was like one of the few people i remember among my peers who was you know uh and I, i literally didn't know anybody from jaipur but even like very few people were from so- smaller cities so i feel like that gave me a little bit of a a uh, bit of a different perspective or what has been the biggest turning point i think a lot of people think of failure as like this uh, really massive thing that happens that really like you fail and something really catastrophic happens in your life but i feel like uh, it's more like things not kind of happening fully as you imagine they would you know so it's like if you envisioned a certain like goal or a place you'd be with your profession or your music uh at a certain time that didn't happen and things are just slow i think the hard part is just kind of being patient and waiting and waiting for the right things and not doing things like uh in a hurry because you're impatient because i feel like that's something that uh, and i am still learning that but i feel like when i was younger even it was more of a struggle because you know if you really wanted something to happen and it didn't happen whether it was a show or you know a project of some sort that you really wanted to work on or whatever and it didn't happen uh that always be like this kind of desperation or like you know let's do anything to make it happen and i think that's the kind of patience is like you have to be smart about knowing when to let go when to not let go when to pursue things it is just tell us a secret i i don't really have a secret i think it's just like uh uh i i i do a lot of like the cleaning up before i you know release a song i don't release a song till it's uh, i don't release most of my songs so there's a lot more i write than what i release and i'm p- pretty picky about what i release and then even the stuff that i release that you know me uh, i i spend a lot of time like polishing it and like uh, in terms of like you know editing the lyrics and like uh, working on it in the studio in terms of production and compositions like i spend a lot of time like really like Uh, uh like polishing those songs so i think like eventually what comes out is pretty good basically so you have so many global first to your credit you know how does that affect you i mean there's been like a lot of things i think like i was also like one of the first few people who went out there and started doing these things like uh, 2016 like we went to south by southwest and uh did, did a bunch of other music conferences all over the world uh also i think around my time is when like the internet started becoming more and more like you know like just bigger and powerful and there was just like more of these competitions and anybody could apply for them all you had to do was really just go online and search for opportunities and that's something like uh, both me and my manager used to do a lot like just really like go out there and search for opportunities as much as we could uh, being in india and that's how a lot of doors opened so uh Yeah, I mean it feels great. I mean, you know, I started this journey early and it's still going, you know. It's still it's still going. There's still a lot to be done. You know, at every stage uh, each one of them was really really excited. Like uh like when they when I won the international songwriting competition, I remember like I had applied to that same thing like 2 years before that also and not won and uh, you know, I'd always like wanted to and then the next year I applied again didn't win. and then that year i actually i forgot and i think my manager did because we were just doing it every year and that year it happened so it was really really exciting like uh, with south by southwest i didn't think like i'd ever get a showcase or get program there but we did that was exciting the obama list was amazing uh signing with electra was amazing because you know i'd always wanted like uh uh support from a major label since the beginning of my career that was one of the major goals so that being that happening was really really great so each one of them had a lot of value you know since you're constantly into this creative process so have you ever faced this creative block i'm not quite sure if like 
I've never faced like a creative block in a sense where I've been absolutely unable to write, but I have slow periods. I have like times when like I'm not writing a lot and I have times when I'm writing a lot, you know. But I just take it as like downtime, you know. Sometimes if I don't like have uh, I'm not writing a lot naturally, then I don't force myself beyond a point. I'll I'll try, you know. I'll try a little bit every day. but if it doesn't come through like i'll stop pushing myself and do something else i think like being like a song writer especially is like so many things uh song writing the song writing part of it itself is something you lead up to you know you're like you're acquiring a lot of skills along the way of like uh you know in terms of just being a better musician a producer uh, everything you read counts for it everything you watch counts for it how you notice things how you are it's it really is like a way of living and i'm like in that sense like living like i try to live like a musician and a songwriter all the time i try to do things all the time where you know uh because that honestly that's that's the way i've been since i since forever i think actually so so you know i i take creative blocks in their stride i guess tell us something about your most memorable concerts or live shows uh so many i mean i've had so many great shows uh you know uh all through my career i've played so many shows so every year there's something amazing you know 2019 we played a bunch of shows in india uh really big shows in delhi and bombay just beautiful shows amazing like energy uh i just played a tour in december uh, of 2021 uh just this past year uh all amazing shows uh i'm looking forward to touring more this year in general what do you think makes or breaks a song like any good song it's really hard to explain but it just feels a good song will just feel good you know it will just feel real it will not feel forced i think the songs that really like are terrible and that you don't want to listen to are just uh, tend to like subconsciously or even consciously sometimes annoy you a little bit and that's because i feel like most people can sense like uh i don't know like some some sort of like a inauthenticity in them you know and that's a really that's a really complicated word which i won't get into but you know uh yeah i think there has to be some realness in a song for it to really like cut through a lot of people you know you covid has impacted all of us in different ways so what kind of impact it had on you or it still has on you i mean yeah it's it's had a you know it's taken its toll on everyone uh it's just uh, it's as i mean it's it's a it's an unprecedented time what do i even say i think we all know like the impact it's had on our mental health and like uh, uh you, you, we just like you know like humans are not like we it's not natural for us to not see each other's faces when we're talking behind masks or like you know be cooped up in one place for too long it's just not natural and we've had to do it obviously because uh that was the only way but uh, i think that uh, kind of like breakdown of uh, this social connection that uh, is so critical to you know just life as a human uh the breakdown of that structure has been has, has just taken a toll on everyone including me uh and then like yeah work wise i've just missed touring most more than anything else other than that it's actually kind of uh been good in a way i got a lot of perspective and i got a lot of time to work on other things in my life as well which i had just been like ignoring for my for a while like uh, my health and like uh, a lot of bad habits that i'd accumulated over the years with touring and hectic traveling uh so i feel like i i think like the not touring part was the worst probably for me like professionally as a musician so you have a huge female fan following so how do you stay connected i mean you know i do everything that i can like uh you know i i try and like stay connected on social media uh we try and like meet as many people as we can when in where on tour uh i sometimes meet fans you know like when i'm just on the road traveling or if i'm out in the restaurant or something so what are your plans for 2022 any new collaboration what what should we look forward to new album you know new songs and a new album so i'm still working on like uh 
finalizing everything and like release dates and plans and stuff like that. But most likely, we're gonna get some a bunch of new music this year. So, what is the advice there for people who are trying to make it big and still struggling? It doesn't matter either way, to be honest. Like, uh, I think you do need to want it really, really bad. Like, I had a fallback option, and sometimes, like, you know, in my bad days when I had a lot of self doubt, uh, it was good to like in a way think about that because I was like, okay, worst case. you know i can go do this but at the same time i also really wanted it just you know like i hope everybody's well and uh hopefully we're uh, pretty close to the other side of you know all of this and we can get back to like doing everything we love and i can get back to playing shows and see you all see you all out there <laughs>